Yo, what is going on, you stingy snivy? I am back and getting back into the regular daily uploads. Today, we're going to be playing some games with more Pico dolls. Um, I don't think anything has really changed that much from the last list that uh, I showed you guys. Just felt like playing some more Pico dolls today. Um, this is the list. We don't play a ton of Pokemon, only 12 here. Um, main attacker is the more Pico, trying to use the Electro Wheel to make the more Pico run to the bench, and then we send up a doll. And they don't get a prize card, and we get to punch them for 150, sometimes more with E-Powers if we want to hit them harder. Um, and that's about it. That's all I really want to say about the list. There's nothing else I really want to say. But let's go ahead. Let's get to some games. All right, getting to our first one. We did win the coin flip. I am going to choose to go first. We do want to get a more Pico with an energy on it as soon as possible, which we do have here. We don't have much else um, to work with. We did get the recycle energy, so that's a start. Looking at maybe a turn to spark for a lot because we have the lead power. Our opponent shows us. Ooh, let's get is Big Blounds. All right, so we don't want. Hmm. Sparky is not that great against Big Blounds. We really want to get our more Pico to the bench. We want to get Naganadel in play to protect our more Pico from the Naganadel snipes. Um, and that's kind of our game plan. All right, we got a Cynthia now. So now we got some options. We're going to bench this guy. I will attach the recycle energy. Gonna pass. I don't. Yeah, this seems fine. Our opponent, if they have the whole welder combo, they could burst even burn us, but that's really not that big of a deal. We might spark next turn. We also might just hard retreat. Like I might just put the memory energy here, and then we could just hard retreat, like a Jirachi or something. There's the welder, but it is to the Oracorio, so that's fine with me. Yes, yeah, so we might move, might spark, just to, like knock out this Ditto, get that early prize card, put 30 on a bench Pokemon. We will see. Oh man, they are setting up to use the Razor Wing from Oracorio. So that's the Psychic Energy gone. They still have the Beast Energy. So we still need to get the Mew in play to protect from there. It is the Venom Shot of the Naganadel. All right, I don't think this thing's going to get knocked out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play AE Power and E Power. AE Power and E Power. And let's go ahead and play Cynthia here. I don't think we have, we don't have any Ultra Beasts now. Um, got a Lightning. Just going to have to do, I guess. And then we are gonna spark here. And I'm gonna put the damage on the Oracorio. Because if they do use it to attack, we can knock it out with the wheel next turn. Um, so we may as well give ourselves that option. There's Coco Prism. That's a good prize card to grab. We really need to find uh, an, a Jirachi for this escape board. Because I don't just want to lose the escape board. But I guess we're probably gonna use Research over Marnie next turn. Because I definitely want to see those extra cards um, for sure. But we definitely are probably gonna use Marnie. Uh, or research over the morning so top deck Jirachi is really nice you know also a what's it called works pretty well as well well as well the it's like a quick ball quick ball that finds us a basic pokemon as well so that would also get us a Jirachi which would also work for our current situation um so it really depends uh what our opponent has here we'll see there's their naganadel okay that's pretty good themselves the um charge psychic not charge charging up but they don't, there are ways away from being able to knock us out. That's what I'm trying to get to. They probably can't knock out our more Pico this turn. I'm like stumbling over my words. Um, they still could. They would need a Blacephalon, a Welder for two, and attach, and they could retreat and knock us out for four energy. So they could knock us out. They do need a lot. Probably not gonna happen, especially with how they've been playing out this turn. Um, they're not playing as if they have Welder two energy in their current hand, but I mean, they could still, I guess. There's an attachment. Still, once again, no welder. Is it just going to be a bursting burn? Is it going to be a burst GX? It's going to be a Cynthia. Okay, there's a Cynthia. Don't have to be afraid of the welder combo at all anymore. They just don't have it. Uh, it's not going to happen. Just going to probably see the burst GX or the bursting burn. They're going with the burst GX. That's fine with me. We should be able to get an electro wheel. Even if we don't one shot it, still going to hit it pretty hard. Uh, set up the two shot. There's the E power top deck, though. So I guess we are one shotting it now. Uh, put down the Cocoa Prism. I guess I can put the Escape Board here. I don't think I need the Stealthy Hood here ever. So we're going to do this, and then we're just going to research. I definitely want to research over the alternative. Um, Alright, we got the Absol. We got a Lightning, so we can run to the bench with the Knockout. Um, unfortunately, we can still get Sniped. We didn't get the Mew. Um, oh well, we're just going to have to go for it here. Um, I don't even know if the Absol was worth putting on the bench, but... Yeah, we did it. Yeah, I just kind of instinctively put it down because uh, almost every deck plays what's it called right now? Um, Jirachi. Uh, however, Blounds does not play Jirachi, so Absol is definitely less good <laughs> against Blounds, but they still need a lot to. They need to find their beast energy 
because um, they usually play the one psychic one beast so they're not gonna be able to beast ring out the energy onto this naganadel to, to, to be able to use the venom shot they have to find their beast energy they can beast ring to this uh you know and get the fires for it for it to be able to attack with the venom shot uh felt the colorless cost but they need to get to that beast energy which is gonna be tough yeah, they only play the one it is a special energy they can't find it with the beast ring like we can find the psychic energy so um hopefully they don't find that because i'm not in a good spot to have our it's not, we're not in a good spot to have our more pico venom shotted right now do not want that to happen um, anything about that is pretty good. So we're hoping they just don't have the uh, the resources for that. We'll see though. There's the charging up. There's the welder. We'll see where it goes. The big deal. If it goes here, okay, it went over here. I think we means we're probably going to be safe. They would need to hit double beast ring and the beast energy still to be able to knock us out. They're probably just going to knock us out with the mind blown. They could have gone with the turning point knockout, and they still can if they get a beast ring. They can still like um, put the energy here. And then turning point knock out our pokey doll so they can still pull it off um not super likely to happen but they can do it we'll see hard to treat all right it's gonna be the mind blown they could bursting burn as well but i don't i don't like bursting burning dolls you kind of have to be aggressive and get rid of them otherwise they just go back to the bottom of the deck and then just get a new one out yeah mind blown there we go knock out our doll hopefully we want to top deck a custom catcher a quick ball to put this back on top i want to save my gust effects if possible Need an e-power to knock us out if we're gonna okay once again we have top decked e-power um that works fine for me and then we're just gonna go ahead and research here looking for mew once again actually mew's not important now because now we're knocking this out we did get the mew but there's the concession from my opponent totally reasonable concede that was a pretty good top deck in the e-power lost the coin flip in this one so we're probably gonna be going second yep and um it is not great uh we can thin it out a little bit to use custom catcher if we want not gonna bench the Oranguru because our opponent could always be playing Fion. We don't want Oranguru interactive when we could have more Pico to use Spark. There's a Zacian. There's a Vulpix. There's a Zacian. Might be ADP Zacian with the Nine Tails line. Might not. I guess we're gonna find out here shortly. There's just an Intrepid Sword. If they hit an Energy, we might be in trouble. They did not. So they're probably not gonna be able to Brave Blade next turn. I mean, they still might. You never really know. Um, Excuse me, and to sneeze there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wisdom the escape board because escape board is what I want in the deck still. If I got like a research here, did not get a research here, got a Rosa, which is not good uh, at all. Excuse me once again, and we're gonna go ahead and spark here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the bench Zation there. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry about the Vulpix at all. Zation and Zation, pop those two guys. And we'll go from there. The Electro Wheel with an E-Power does now one shot the active. There's that Fion. I was talking about um, being annoying. Sure, they maybe didn't have their hand on turn one, but they maybe did. So definitely worth playing around. There's a Marnie that is a lifesaver for us in this situation. Our hand just wasn't good. Um, now we're going to get four new cards. Hopefully good enough. Not quite. <laughs> we can actually get a Jirachi, a Skateboard it, and then Custom Catcher for three, though. So still not stuck. And is definitely not stuck. We still have some outs to be able to play with. Need to draw the correct cards off that, but you know, we'll custom for three, and then we'll have wisdom. So basically we'll see four cards for the turn. Five cards if we include our top deck, actually. So hopefully that's enough to at least attach for a turn. At the very least, we get to attach for a turn, hopefully, and then uh go from there. So we know they play the Fion, they're playing the energy spinner build. Not surprised because they are playing a nine tails line in here. It's probably the nine tails GX. I guess it could just be a um just the the baby nine tails to stop gx's no there's the nine tails gx okay that's what i expected and here we go with the uh mysterious guidance to get uh, two item cards out of their deck um which are gonna be able to utilize uh here on this turn we'll see what they get um very powerful um but it does make the deck quite a bit more inconsistent initially until you find these items uh, until you get to get the nine tails out like to set up the nine tails initially can be a little bit slow um Having to search out Vulpix early on is a little bit slow. Getting the Ninetales itself, I feel like, is less slow because you do play a heavy Cherish Ball count in this build. So finding the Ninetales itself isn't too bad. It's just going to be another Intrepid Sword, though, and no E-Switch combo. Um, so they're not doing anything really yet. All right, so we're going to Quick Ball away one of the escape boards. Get that Jirachi. Jirachi's coming down. Attach the escape board. Bench the doll, and then custom for three. We're looking for a switch. We don't play a whole ton. 
I'm going to go ahead and Wisdom back the Jirachi. New card is the Switch. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, Stellar Wish into the Research. Okay, it doesn't really get too much better than this. That's kind of a crazy sequence of uh, draws there, not going to lie. And then we're going to go ahead and Research. Um, What do I even want to do with this hand? We could bring up the Nine Tails to try and trap it. Um, I kind of like that, and then we could spark. Spark's a little bit dangerous, though, because then they could easily, or pretty easily, um, Brave Blade us. Um, so I think I'm just going to retreat to a doll, but I might still Great Catcher up the Nine Tails. We're, out of, we're running low on Gust Effects, though, at this point, so I kind of want to save the Great Catcher as well. I'm kind of torn on using it for that or just holding it. But with our current hand, we're going to have to get rid of it probably anyways. Really stinks. We don't have any lightning in here. Um, um, all right, sure. We're gonna go ahead and great catcher this. Get rid of these two. Bring up the nine tails, and we're hoping it's stuck. So maybe we should spark anyways. But maybe it's not worth that risk. Just force them to get out of the active. Sparking for twenty doesn't do a whole ton. Actually, it sets up the math pretty nicely. Do we risk it? All right, let's risk it. Uh, we're gonna risk the spark here. Bench another doll right now, just in case we get Marnie or something. Not gonna mention the Coco yet. And spark. Uh, put the 20 damage on. If we put it here, 70. So putting it here is actually pretty good because then we just need to use Electro Wheel to knock it out. So we're gonna go ahead and put it there. This guy, we just need an E Power to knock out now. <clears throat> so we have plenty left. So now if we can just go E Power knock this out. Um, and then we got Double Custom to knock this out. That's four prize cards. We need to come up with two more prize cards. Maybe we two-shot this. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the game goes from here. Um, we also go to the big, big more Pico. Would also be enough to knock this out now at this point. So that would still be pretty good. Uh, we could go big more Pico next turn if this thing doesn't move, which is what we're kind of hoping for here by bringing it up, is we're hoping it doesn't move for a turn. There's the Marnie. Uh, that does save us our custom catcher for us, which is pretty nice. I appreciate that from our opponent. Um, let's see what we get got the lightning we need to attack we got a research to draw some cards that's pretty good opponent has not switched yet we'll see if they get the magical wisdoms like we've been getting there's the switch though all right so they get the switch off into the altered creation and now we're in trouble um another more pico i'm gonna attach i'm gonna bench the more pico i'm gonna save the reset stamp it feels worth to save it hopefully i don't get anything better just lightning energy that's fine research because at this point we're getting the recycle back energy back every single turn so and yeah, get that recycle back and we send up the lily's pokey doll and pass over to our opponent all right cool got the stamp for later quick ball to find coco prism looking okay uh this matchup is uh we've had some time to work with not as much as we would have liked and we weren't able to get like off an aggressive turn to attack with the coco prism or the Thunder Mountain because of the Chaotic Swell. So it's been a little slow still for us. Um, we're not in too ridiculously good of a spot. But, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're chugging along. The more Picos are starting to do the damage with the Electro Wheel. So not too, too worried about it yet. Um, hopefully they don't get double Custom Catcher here. We don't have an Energy now. So this is actually a little bit worrying because we have two in here. Uh, I guess we could just find Coco Prism, and then that would solve that problem for us. Here's some energy, so we should be good. Um, we don't have a supporter to work with, but hopefully we find one. And uh, things are looking okay. Now we can go knock out the ADP. Hopefully they didn't get double custom. That's what we're scared of right here. Knock out ADP, and then we can gust effect, knock out the nine tails, and then gust, knock out the Zation. So actually, the what's it called is super good here, the Coco Prism, because it allows us to get both more Picos set up, basically, to be able to attack. We have to put an energy here and here, attached to this one. Oh, they're just going with the Intrepid Sword this turn, not even knocking out at all. Yeah, that's fine with me. Drawn to a Quick Ball, which could get us that Coco Prism if I want. Um, doll to the bottom. And I think I am going to get the Coco Prism here, because it sets us up beautifully to set up both um, more Picos here. So we're going to get this. Grab the Coco Prism. Um, I'm going to go into Stellar Wish next, that's fine. Get a Cynthia, that's great as well. Coco Prism comes down, um, attach the Lightning here, and then play the Cynthia. We do want to hit another Dolph because we do know they play Fion. And if we don't, it'll be a little bit annoying. Not the biggest of deals, but definitely not ideal. Um, all right. 
uh, uh, let's still get there. I guess wisdom. Give her one of the recycles because we don't need both in hand. But it's not a doll. Not a bad card to have, but not a doll, that's for sure. Definitely can make things a little bit more annoying for our opponent by putting the Absol in play. So we're going to do that. And if they do hit us with the good old um, Theon, we'll, we'll sacrifice the Absol probably. Maybe the... Maybe the Orangaru, but I'm thinking Absol is going to be the dude to go down. Take the hit for our opponents. Um, doing the thing. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. Hitting us with the Fion. That's what I'm trying to say. They hit us with the Fion. Absol's taking the hit. Oops. Drew my prize out of order there. I always draw it uh, right to left, uh, bottom up. But uh, misclicked there. We're going to take the Lightning Energy instead of whatever that one was. Not a big deal. Our hand still has what we need. Uh, like I said... Now we have double gust effects, so we can actually go knock out this with Great Catcher and then knock out this with double custom. We can also knock this out if we get double E power. It's just kind of a little bit harder to get. I mean, I guess double custom is equal to double E power, so it's actually not that much harder. And there's the Whirlpool suction I was talking about. Um, I think we just let the Absol go here. I think Orangaroo is going to be a little bit more beneficial overall. So we're just going to let Absol go here. And them just actually knocking out a non GX is just fine for us, I think. But yeah, if they just knock out a non. Not two prizer, not a GX. It's not actually a GX Pokemon. It's a, a V Pokemon. But yeah, not, if they knock out a non two prizer here, I feel like that's, we're gonna be in a pretty good spot. That is what they're knocking out. They're gonna lose this energy as well. So if we actually knock this out, they will have zero energy in play. But they only have one Metal Saucer down, so it wouldn't be that ridiculous if they set up a Zation out of nowhere on the next turn. So they could easily pull off another Zation out of nowhere. Here comes their Wisdom. Um, so yeah, the Absol is gonna get this energy out of play, which is nice, um, but not gonna be that big of a difference, I don't think, in the overall scheme of things. I think it's gonna be they'll be just fine at being able to set up another attacker here on the next turn. Um, yeah, on our turn, get an Electro Wheel. Uh, we could also try and look for the Big More Pico. If we could get a Rosa, we could get Big More Pico plus E Power and actually knock this thing out, which would be huge. We get to knock out this turn. Um, there's the Fion again, so we'll need Double Doll to protect our bench um, to stop them from being, actually being able to knock out. Ooh, there's a stamp from our opponent. That's definitely annoying. Had a lot of good cards in hand. This hand, definitely not as good. There's the Double Custom on our more Pico. So back-to-back -back Double Custom catchers, and we will just lose the game. So now we're, we're really scared of that. Uh, we don't have an energy to attack with. We do have a Custom Catcher to draw cards, but we don't want a Custom to draw cards if we don't have to. Taking a look at my discard pile right real fast right here. They got the Fion to force something up off the bench, but they can't force up to more Pico with the Fion. So that's the only thing we're scared of. Uh, they do have the customs left to do that, but they have to find them. Definitely hard to find. They're going to be hard for them to find their last two customs. So I'm not really worried about them getting that. Jirachi goes up here. Cynthia top deck is pretty good. Um, Hood. Oh, Hood is good on the doll. Because that means Fion can't move it. And then counter gain could be good on kind of nowhere, but I don't want it in my deck, so I'm gonna put it. Uh, I guess I just put it here on the more Pico. Well, I could put an escape board on the more Pico. It's probably not gonna be relevant. Just put the counter gain there, and then save the custom catcher. Play the Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia was a great top deck there. Got a memory energy to use at the very least. That's fine. Got another doll, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and sell a wish first. Just grab. Ooh, we got that other custom catcher. I think I'm going to grab the custom catcher here. Because uh, then we can actually knock this out. And then we could look for the great catcher knockout on that to win the game on the following turn. So I kind of want to go for it. Um, Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm like thinking through it. Seems okay. Let's go for it. Okay. Attach the memory energy. Double custom up. The Zation bench a doll. Um Wisdom the stamp, I think, is what I would what I would want to see most likely. I don't know. Um and then retreat. And hit him with the wheel. Here we go. 150 knockout. Send up the doll. Um if they really want to use the field, we send up the doll with the hood, which is fine. If we get down to just the we're gonna save this doll for as long as possible because we're gonna end up with only being able to have one doll in play. This is the doll we want in the active because it has the hood, which means that our opponents, uh, Fion can't move it. Um, so they had double custom here. They do just win the game. We weren't able to knock this guy out like we really wanted to, but we did kind of kind of need quite a bit. So it's not that surprising that we weren't able to knock it out. Um, so yeah, if they get off the double custom catcher, it's unlikely they're down two of them, I believe, right? They're down more than two. Then they just can't do it. They're down two. I have two left. One could be prized, but it is just kind of hard for them to find them in general. 
I'm really not too worried about them finding it. They could. Um, we'll see how it goes. But Armor Pico should be safe this turn. Um, getting to the next turn, if they go through their deck quite a bit without discarding one, then I would be a little bit more worried. But they got still like a 21 card deck left. All right, there's the dead of change. None were in the hand. They're reaching for it this turn for sure. Six new cards. If none, of, if none of those cards are a custom, and then they research once again, get a little bit more worried. Every time they play a draw card, get a little bit more, a little bit more worried. A little bit more and a little bit more worried um, with them finding it. As long as it as one doesn't end up in the discard pile. Because then we're just safe. But currently not safe yet. How many quick ball are they down, actually? Are they good? They have two quick ball left, so they can find Fion a couple more times. So it wouldn't be too bad for them to Fion this turn to get rid of this uh, Poke Doll with the hood. If they, Especially if they know they can find it again almost immediately. Um, cause then they get this one out of the way and then I just have one, if I just have one pokey doll and play on my next turn, Fion guarantees prize cards, which is what they're looking for at this point. They're trying to win the game as fast as possible. So that actually wouldn't be a terrible play for my opponent to go, um, be on there. They're just gonna go with the intrepid sword. So just being like, all right, they have too many dolls to work with. Just sword here. All right. That is fine with me. We need our great catcher to win the game. Now we're going to go get rid of this Jirachi, start thinning out the deck here. Uh, great catcher looks like it's prize though. We do have double E power in the deck though. So if we get uh, the big Pico or just double E power, we do win the game as well. Or did I discard my great catcher? So I've been talking about this whole time. I did discard it. I thought I still had it. All right. Well, my bad. I apparently had discarded my great catcher the whole time. So uh, get rid of this. Grab this. Um. So if we do hit it for just one E power. We'd it'd have 20 HP left, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna reset the Empire opponent first of all, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and shuffle just the Mew back in the deck because if I just get one E power and hit it with the Electro Wheel, we'll be able to clean it up with Mew on the following turn. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, shuffle up to two Pokemon. We're just gonna take Mew. That's it. Because I could have put a Lightning Energy or two back in the deck, but I really, yeah, I could have put a Lightning or two back in the deck, I guess. And we whiffed Energy, so I did get punished for that. Um, so Doll's gotta go under. Send up the Jirachi. Wisdom, the research back on top, I guess. Oh, I should have actually still our wish first. Oops, I'm like losing my mind right now. Oh, we got the uh, Thunder Mountain. That's not a great answer, though, because then we lose another energy on our more Pico. Um, but we do set it up to actually, we can set it up to be sunk by Spark. I completely forgot about Spark. I was like, Mew seems pretty good. But actually, we can just set it up for the Spark. So this does the same thing. Um, get our Thunder Mountain. They didn't replace the stadium with another Swell. So actually, this works. This works. I'm stumbling over my words here. Uh, game plans are changing, but this works just fine. Electro Wheel, 180. They're up to 200. We're gonna send up this Poké Doll again. Once again, the one without the hood, and they got 200 on it. We can spark knockout. Yeah. So my game plan was my initial game plan was revolving around the uh, where is it? Great Catcher, which apparently was in my discard pile the whole time. I forgot I put it in there. Um, so my game plan was never going to work the way I wanted it to, the way I was thinking about it, because we used it on, that's right, we used it on, like, turn two to bring up the nine tails. Um, but that's fine. Our game plan now is just hit this thing as hard as we could. If we had did double E power there, we would have won the game. Didn't. We preferred an energy. So when I used the ordinary rod, I probably should have also shuffled in two lightning. And it should have actually never shuffled in the Mew, because it was irrelevant to the situation, because I still have spark, which I forgot about, which just does 20 to the match. I guess I still shuffle in the Mew there, because they could be have Mew still, but there's the double custom catcher. From our opponent so all this is in vain as our opponent is going to take the dub in the end with their adaptation and we're going to take the l here in the second game and that's going to do it for this video on the more pico dolls i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give the video a like if you know the content be sure to subscribe have a good day thanks for watching and peace